Hey guys, I'm coming here live from Nico's Kitchen here in beautiful Western Australia, my good friend Nico here. And today we're on a bit of a holiday. We don't really want to do anything too complicated cooking wise. We want to just sit back, relax and have something nice in a frosted glass. So today we are going to make some mocha frappes. Now, mocha frappes, coffee, chocolate. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. You can't say no to that. And if you do, well, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> so let's get started. Anyone who's been watching the One Pot Chef Show over the years knows I have a very soft spot for coffee, so my dear friend Nico here is going to help me make a mocha frappe. I thought you were going to say you had a soft spot for me. Well, I did once, but oh, then you woke up. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and I rolled over. <laughs> okay. All right, get back, another, to, get back a, to work, intern. That's another video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so mocha frappe. Mocha frappe. Uh, what we've already done is gone to the coffee machine and we've got some... Just some normal black coffee. We haven't put any sugar in it, haven't put any milk in it or anything like that. It's just normal coffee. You can do this with the instant stuff as well. It'll, it'll work fine. And if you're not interested in coffee, if you don't like coffee, feel free to replace this with some hot chocolate that's been cooled down or even just some chocolate milk. Yeah. Or Milo. It'll Milo work. works too. Mm. If you're in Australia. Do they, have, you, uh, yeah. I don't, do they have Milo outside of I Australia? They do. Nesquik. That'll do. Nesquik. There yeah, you go. That'll work. Not a product placement. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. and putting this into the blender, and again, you any don't blender. have to use this type of blender, you can use any blender at all. Yep. So coffee so going in. Coffee goes in. Now, if you want to, just don't put it in searing hot. Yeah, let it, let it cool down first. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, so you'll melt your blender. So we've got our coffee, and then we've got our chocolate syrup, which is a bought chocolate syrup. Putting in about a quarter of a cup. Mm -hmm. And for some more sweetness, we've got some agave syrup. Do you want to explain a bit of agave? Now, they could use honey, but... You can use honey. Agave is sort of a natural sweetness, sweetness. which actually comes from cactus. Mm. But if you can't get it, honey will be perfectly acceptable. Yeah. And we're also going to pop in some milk. Mm -hmm. And we're using skim milk, but if you wanted to use the full, full fat, fat stuff, mm -hmm. go for it. And... Just to make this really nice and frothy, we're going to put in some lovely ice cubes. Give it sort of that nice sort of chill sort of sensation when you're drinking it. I love that flavour, that, that texture when you're drinking it. I yeah. love that. I'm going to actually pop in a few more because I want this sort of nice and thick. Really, really sort of chunky, yeah. Yeah. And we want the blender to do its work. Yeah, exactly. Get, get a, give it a good workout. It's too lazy. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pop the lid on and we're going to hit start. Look at the colour. Hell yeah. Mm. Oh, that smell. The smell, that's the first thing it hits you, is the coffee oh. smell. That's <laughs> awesome. That smell is sexy. All right, so we're gonna pour this into our cups. You, I mean, I think your audience and my audience knows that we don't stop here, do we? No. I mean, that's cool, but that's that's just sort of a bit boring. That's a bit boring. I, yeah. I, I think we could go to the next level. Okay, <laughs> okay. I've got some whipped cream. I think some whipped cream on the top would go really, really nice. Mind the fingers. Yeah. <laughs> we wash our hands. We do, we're clean. Yeah. Some more bit chocolate syrup. Yeah, a little bit of chocolate syrup over the top. Mm -hmm. Just to make it look nice and pretty. Bit chefy. Mm -hmm. And just to really sort of give this a bit of extra, we're gonna shave a little bit of dark chocolate over the top. Oh man. That that looks awesome. <laughs> How, how's your diet doing, Nico? <laughs> I think Is I think, your willpower still up and going? No, I've lost it. <laughs> and that is our mocha frappe and I don't know about you but I am ready to dig into this one so mm. there goes the diet yep mm. I've made a mess oh you always make a mess but that is really nice that is so rich the cream in that is especially but if you love coffee mm. on on a because we've got summer coming up here in Australia that would just be absolutely gorgeous Coffee and chocolate, and uh, could you could imagine if you made that a double chocolate one. Holy and instead of the cream, God. you could put like a dollop of ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, that is just really, really good. And I the like shaved that. chocolate on top really just takes it to the next level. That is, mm. if you're a chocolate addict, you'll like this one. Mm. That is yummy. That's excellent. Well, thank you very much for having me in your kitchen. No, it's been I've my had a pleasure. Lot of time. And if you have not had the joy of checking out this man's channel, go and check him out. There was an annotation around his face somewhere. Go and click on him and check him out because he needs all the subscribers he can get. 
poor little thing is, <laughs> is, is, is virtually unknown on YouTube. I mean, the poor little fella. I know, it's so tough. Go, go, go support a starving YouTuber. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go drinking a, drinking a frappe. Drinking our frappes. Honestly, it's not easy. It's not easy, this life. So we're, we're going to sort of go and have our frappes and try and deal with having only two limos. <laughs> All right, have a great time, guys. See you guys. Take care.